These numbers are baselines. And again, I will give you a calculation to get a sense of what you can expect to make and how to price the place. If you are room rental curious, this is the right place for you to be. Before I get into that, I just wanna go over some encouraging stats for you guys. The first is that the fastest growing demographic on Airbnb are women that are 60 plus. So, so they make up more than two thirds of the 60 plus demographic. They also have the best reviews of any host demographic on Airbnb. And depending on what source you look at, they either make 6,000 per year on these room rentals or they make up to 14,000. If we wanna look at it as 6,000 a year, then they are making $500 a month on a room. If we wanna look at the $14,000 measure, so really 13,800, but if we wanna look at that measure, it's 1,150. These numbers are baselines. And again, I will give you a calculation to get a sense of what you can expect to make and how to price the place. But I just wanted to share those statistics and those numbers because even if it's only 6,000, 6,000 is better than nothing, especially if it's just sitting If here. you feel like you've already learned something so far in this video, please like it. If you feel like you learned something in the future in this video, please like so it. So I think a good baseline for establishing how much you can rent a room for on the monthly level, the way that you establish this, the good baseline for this is to go to rentometer.com. So rentometer.com, rentometer.com. If you go there, it's free to you. Put in your address and select studio. Then there's going to be an option to try and limit the geography. If you're in a city, it's going to be easy to limit the geography and you're going to want to make that geographical area around you as tight as possible because that will give you an idea of the range. So if you can get it down to like 0.25 of a mile, 0.33 of a mile, you're going to want to do that and then you're also gonna to wanna to set it for a studio, and then whatever returns, so, so then times that number by 0.7, and that's a very good baseline of what you can charge for a room in your house. So essentially 70% of what studios are going for in your area. You just wanna be mindful, you'll be limited in the data that you get back, but if you live in the city and you're well aware of like the buildings around you, you may wanna knock down your price even more if like those buildings have pools or rooftop patios, amenities that you can't offer in your house. But 0.7 or 70% of what a studio offers is a really strong place to be. Obviously you can upcharge a little bit if they have a private bathroom. You can also upcharge a little bit if nobody else in your area is doing it. So this would be more relevant to like a rural area where you might be the only game in town.